Hey everybody, this is Tim again here with another video for uh, Boom Stick Take. Just thought I'd go ahead and jump into my next Wes Craven review, baby. Uh, Serpent in the Rainbow starring Bill Pullman, which is fucking classic as far as I'm concerned. Uh, with me never is this guy. I'm Chris, the master. He's Chris, <laughs> the master, or so he says. <laughs> well, we won't uh, copyright that, but anyway. Um, just here to talk about Serpent in the Rainbow. We're here to spitball about it a little bit. Um, once again, it's one of my favorite Wes Craven movies. Uh, this will be my third West Craven review. I'll go ahead and jump off and say it. Just give my rating for this cocksucker. I'll just go ahead and give it four stars right off the bat. Because it's fucking amazing. What about you? What you think about this? Well, I like Serpent and Rainbow. I think I thought I thought Bill Pullman did a What's really the good rating? time. My rating for it? Lightness. I'd have to give it three crazy uh, witch doctors out of five. Three crazy witch doctors <laughs> out of five. Yeah. That's a pretty inventive rating system. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you on that one. But anyway... As far as this movie goes, you got Bill Pullman. He's fucking around. He wants to go investigate a zombie drug, or supposedly a drug that makes people become zombified in Haiti. He goes there. Uh, he gets. He's a he's a white guy who gets him more than he bargained for. Only white people can get into these situations. Am I right? You, you know, you never see anybody but Caucasian people in these types of fucked up situations. Well, considering the white guy got his uh, his penis nailed through by the witch doctor, they uh, do tend to get in some pretty hairy situations. <laughs> Precarious situation. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, but, yeah, the, he kind of skipped ahead there. But, but, yeah, one of the most famous scenes in this movie, for anybody that's seen it or for anybody that wants to see it, just know this movie does feature a man getting a nail through the dick. So, yeah. above all, it's it's got that one thing going for it, nail, the nail dick scene. But, yeah. a, anyway, yeah. so Bill Pullman gets to Haiti. If you don't know who Bill Pullman is, he's an actor. He's most famous for Spaceballs. He's also in Casper. Independence Day. Yeah, Independence Day. I forgot about that one. But, yeah, if you've seen Casper, you know who this motherfucker is. But uh, he's the dad on Casper. He's also in Lake Placid, which is a movie I don't love, but I do like. But he is also in that. Um, What's your favorite Bill Pullman movie? My favorite Bill Pullman movie? Gosh, I, I have to say it has to be uh, Serpent and the Rainbow. <laughs> no, it's not Serpent and the Rainbow. It's not Independence Day. Spaceballs. Yeah, Spaceballs. Space yeah, Spaceballs. Yeah, Spaceballs. <laughs> I like my space comedies, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lone Star! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, back to Serpent the Rainbow. So Bill Bill Pullman gets to Haiti. Fucked up shit starts happening. He, he, him and this hot chick have sex. Gets see some titties. Always great for that. Uh, he gets his fuck on. Uh, but he starts fucking around, you know, trying to stick his nose in places where <laughs> nobody wants it. But he does it anyway. Bill Pullman's acting in the movie is great. As like the guy, you know, in over his head or whatever in the movie. He does a good job in wait, the movie. Wait, Don't bury me! I'm not dead! <laughs> and of course, Bill Pullman does do better than that. But, <laughs> but, but anyway, back, back, yeah. back to the uh, review here. Uh, so, yeah, and you get really, he starts having, like, these fucked up dreams. Bill Pullman does where he sees, like, a corpse in a uh, bride's, like, a uh, dress. He comes up to it and, like, pulls the veil up, and it's a fucking skeleton or whatever. And he, the mouth, the creature, like, pulls its mouth open in a cool special effect. And a big fucking, like, anaconda jumps out of it towards Bill Pullman's face. Or actually, it's a python, I believe. But really fucked up shit like that, which makes you think Wes Craven or whoever worked on this movie might have been doing a little bit of LSD. <laughs> because there's some really fucked up images and dream sequences in this movie that I love to death. But anyway, yeah, they really do. Uh, they really go pretty high on the scale and the practical practical effects. Was, yeah, uh, fucked up. Really, reached a new really level in this movie. It, I got I got agree with this. So. Fucked upness done with uh, great practical effects really reaches a great great level in this movie. Uh, <clears throat> any weaknesses for the movie? Um, I thought it uh, would have been well. Well, you, you can go ahead and go first. So any kind of weaknesses you might have for the film? Anything you might have not liked? Uh, I thought one. Well, so all the actors were good, and uh, what did I not like about it? I, or did you just no problems? I didn't have really too many problems with it. It was a real good Wes Craven movie, and um, definitely, definitely a classic Craven, in my opinion. Yeah, he really kind of people under the stairish on this one. I mean, this is in like his people under the stairs. Um, Shocker type yeah. zone where he yeah. was in the suspense. early 90s. <laughs> yeah. And just boom all at once and you find out. Yeah, crazy definitely stuff. a suspenseful movie. Not really like blood and guts every five seconds or anything. Not a lot of slayings and stuff. So if that's what you're looking for, you will be disappointed. But uh, definitely a great mindfuck movie. 
But uh, yeah, there's this guy there. He's like a voodoo practitioner. And not only does he have to kill you, but he has to take your soul. <laughs> yeah, he's got to take your soul, too. He's got to add to his reservoir. Yeah, his, so, his soul collection. You know, you always yeah. need one of those. I think there might be one on eBay somewhere. So Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, of course, he wants to – Bill. he doesn't want Bill Pullman to get the secrets and, you know, and the shit and take off. He's the one that gets Bill Pullman, tries to run him out of Haiti and puts the nail through his dick. Which yeah. uh, would probably do the job for me. I think once I got the nail, the nail through the dick, I'd probably say, "Man, you win. It's over." Doesn't well, doesn't Bill Pullman get some sort of superpower in this movie? Yes, at the end of the movie, <laughs> after uh, after Bill Pullman kicks uh, Zachis Mokai, the actor who plays the bad guy in the movie, after Bill Pullman kicks his ass, yeah, after he uh, destroys his soul reservoir, yeah, yeah. Right, or yeah he, he destroys uh, Z Zachis Mokai's soul reservoir. The souls like empower Bill Pullman basically, as well mm. as Bill Pullman's like spirit animal he has in the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it becomes like a, a battle of the mind. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so Zachis Mokai is like trying to fuck with Bill Pullman through the mind, baby. But little does Zachis Mokai know Bill Pullman, don't even, he don't take that shit neither. And he fights back you know, with mind power. Fucking fucks up Zachis Mokai and causes his chair to like come up out of the ground. Puts Zachis Mokai in it and then nails a nail through his dick. Yeah. yeah. Sweet Payback, revenge. baby. You don't mess with the man's dick. It's true. Uh, yeah. We don't, we don't go there. You crossed the motherfucking line. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so he puts a nail through his dick, pretty much drags the dude through the floor. The dude, like, is on the chair, Zach is Mokai is, and he goes, like, into the floor. Great, cool special effect. Uh, this would be a great movie to watch on weed. What do you think? Any weed recommendations for this? I don't know, but I, I think I am going to change my writing, writing. I think it's three and a half uh, nails to the dick out of five. Yeah. Three and a half <laughs> nails to the dick? Yeah. Damn, I think I like The Witch Doctors better. Nails to the Dick makes it sound like this is like a savage uh, gore fest type movie. <laughs> it's got it's got quite a few savage scenes. <sighs> yeah, but but anyway, so yeah, and so pretty much Bill Pullman kicks the guy's ass after Bill Pullman becomes spiritually empowered, and uh, him and his hot Bill Pullman and his hot chick who he meets in Haiti, um, they. They've saved the day. Bill Pullman saved the day. It's a happy ending. Everything's fine. They walk off into the sunset. Cue in the movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My, but yeah, in my opinion, this is a great movie. Once again, I said give it four stars as far as my rating systems. And uh, what was that again? Three and a half? Give it a three and a half out of five. Three and a half what? Uh, I was going to say nails to the, the nails to the dick. Three yeah. and a half nails to the dick. So, <laughs> so it really, you know it's intense. It really hits you kind of hard there. Right? Yeah, but towards, once again. Especially I'm, towards the head. <laughs> Yeah, but once again, I'm a big Wes Craven fan. This is another one of my favorite Wes Craven movies. After this, I'll probably jump back with a review for Shocker. Um, but yeah, I'd just like to thank my co-host here for joining me, Chris DeMaster. Yeah, Chris DeMaster, it was good to be here today. Uh, I always like to come over and visit my friends over here at Boomstick Critique and see how they're doing. <laughs> yeah, if you get a chance, you check out his YouTube uh, channel. He does a lot of cool gaming stuff on there. Yeah, it's a small channel, but I'm doing what I can do. He we'll, does. We'll he see does, what happens. He does what he can with what he's got. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'll see you guys. I'll uh, see you guys again with um, Shocker, which is another Wes Craven movie I like, and I also think is underrated. I enjoyed Shocker quite a bit. So. He enjoyed Shocker quite a bit, and for me, I, I really like Shocker. So I'll see you guys again with uh, that review.